Merritt, it's so lovely to see you. Last time we were physically together was in Oxford. Um, I can't believe it. You know, it feels like it was yesterday. I don't want to know when it was. Um, it's so great to see you. Of course, we follow you all the time. We're fans. You know, we, we take a look at where you are. You're either, you know, on a, on a stage doing ballet or you are in the lab. And, and fun to see where you are in different places. I'm so curious. Tell us about the story about what drove you to do what you're doing right now. Hey, Melissa, it's such a pleasure to be here and everyone here. I'm so excited. Um, I would say as a kid, I loved puzzles. Like I, that, that was the thing I would get in trouble for. Like I would stay up at night to do puzzles. Mm -hmm. And so I just liked like putting things together and things would be a mess and just sorting through that. And then later on around like first year of college, I, I took this kind of vague seminar where they talked about quantum mechanics and they talked about these weird phenomena in which you have particles that would be in superposition and they'd be entangled. And it was like, it was a particle and a wave. And it would be like these huge, these mysteries that people were trying to understand. And then on top of that, they were building technology like mm. quantum computers and like, you know, quantum cryptography and quantum telecommunication. So I was like, oh my God, you know, I get, in, I get to explore these mysteries of the universe and put it together in this, you know, like it, it went back to this puzzling together to create new technology. So when I'm in the lab, I put on my like books on tape and I'm like, and I be late at night. I was like, and there was one day where I was just like, wow, this is really heralding back to when I was like eight or seven. And I would just be doing the same thing. Like, um, but now it's a quantum optics table, not like 3D puzzles. So mm -hmm. That was my love for science. It's great how that connects you and, and the things that we've done as a kid, they come back later on, right? They, we may not notice them directly, but it's great you had that aha moment of like, wait a second, this feels very familiar. <laughs> I feel like when, yes, like when you get in trouble as a, as a kid for having the lights on too late at night. 